WA is tonight remembering radio legend Ian Cameron, who died after a heart attack at 65. Cameron built a devoted following to become the undisputed king of breakfast radio in a broadcast career lasting nearly five decades. He also did a stint in federal politics, flying the flag in Canberra for the West. Done. A gracious end to a 47-year career. Surrounded by family, Ian Cameron hung up the microphone three months ago and was planning a long retirement. But it wasn't to be. Longtime colleague Jeff Hutchison delivering the sad news to Camo's loyal ABC audience this morning. He died in Albany last night. He'd had a heart attack. It sort of uh, ended where it began in so many ways for him in a place that he loved so much. Camo's glittering radio career started at 6VA in Albany in 1969, followed by stints at 6AX, Mix 94.5 and 6PR. He even had his own daytime television show here at Channel 9. Welcome back to Cameron and Grant, or Grant and Cameron, whichever you prefer. Cameron's passion for politics took him to Canberra as the member for Stirling from 1993 to 1998. But the microphone called him back to a place he felt most at home. And for the past 14 years, he's been Perth's most popular breakfast voice on 720 ABC Perth. Not many people can make a career in this industry because it's tough. It's real tough. Um, but it's been beautiful and I've loved every day. He knew how to communicate with people. He knew how to talk to them. And he knew how to listen, you know, and that's, that's rare these days. Today at the ABC, the flags flew at half-mast, his listeners paying tribute. There's so many good stories, and as we know, what a great storyteller he was. And mm. We've always joked about how he embellished and, and made ordinary stories even better. His wife, Wendy, affectionately known as the War Office, issuing a statement. To all of Ian's devoted listeners, thank you for your loving messages. It was a quick exit for Ian from this life. His pain is gone, our pain is raw. If Wendy was his number one, Dusty Springfield had to be a close second. Cameron's musical taste was eclectic. He seemed to take pleasure in annoying his audience with his sometimes odd song choices. What does the fight say? He played some awful music from time to time, but uh, we all got to sort of, you know, like Petula Clark and, uh, and all those other songs. And uh, so, look, I, I just say thanks, thanks for everything you've given to the state, Ian. He's going to be remembered as one of the finest broadcasters um, that not only this state's seen, but the nation's seen, I think. And, um, yeah, and we're very proud that, that you can say that, he, that he's our brother. Mm. Thanks for putting up with me for all of these years. And Ian Cameron's fans have remembered the radio giant with tributes at the ABC building in East Perth. Ellie Cormack is there tonight. And Ellie, people are looking to pay their respects to the man who dominated radio here for so long. Tim, a condolence book has been set up inside the ABC where flowers have also been laid. His former friends, colleagues and listeners from far and wide have signed that book today and it'll be open to the public for about another week, I'm told. But so many of his audience called into ABC Radio today to share their fondest memories and we expect that'll continue into the weekend. Emmy. I'm sure it will. Thank you, Ellie.